Like that? Yeah? Good! Damn! What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Reggie B. Today is leg day. Yeah, I said it, leg day. A lot of people are not used to me doing legs, but today and a couple of times before I've been doing legs, but now it's time to record what I've been up to. The thing is, you gotta practice what you preach. A lot of these guys, like I said, and I say it time and time again, they tell you that you should do or should not do it. What they're doing, I'm gonna show you shit that I'm doing. I haven't been doing legs like that because I told you I had very low back problems, so I did machines. But I've been on a journey to try to thicken out my legs, also thicken out my back. So this is a routine that I've been doing for a good maybe three weeks now that's been working, that's been picking up my strength. Not only that, it's been really defining my quads and my hamstrings at the same time. So if you're ready to get this workout in, let's get it. So here I'm going to start it off with some squats. I'm going to do three warm-up sets for 10 reps. My, my main focus was just to wake myself up. I was really tired. It's early in the morning, and there's no way waking yourself up like squats will. You know, not only that, I was really focused on just a nice slow rep and squeeze to stretch out my quads, my hams, and my glutes. And this is a great way, especially on how hard I'm going to go for this entire leg day, a great way to start off your routine is to hit some squats. Get, out, get that out the way, and then go and tack that workout. Now we're moving on to the hack squat. The thing is I see in the gym, a lot of people don't know how to use the machine because if you did, you know you can be creative. When I was on this machine, I did one set and I was like, I want to throw in some lunges into my routine. But a lot of times, because I have back problems, I feel a little pinch. And I was like, hmm, I got it. Matter of fact, I'm going to put, I'm going to incorporate lunges while I'm doing the hack squat. And by doing this, I felt my legs, no lie, filling up with blood lot of tension I felt a good pump and I felt no pain on my lower back so your next routine try this and I can promise you you'll be getting gains the way you want them to all right so now we're moving on to the seated leg press already my legs are like done but you gotta push them I'm not used to doing legs but I'm on a new journey right now it's time to bulk up the legs that's exactly what I'm doing right now so this exercise is really good at doing all the muscles in the lower body Hitting the quads, hamstrings, but the fact that you're extending the knee is hitting your gluteus maximus, which is your ass. Alright, so remember we're gonna go heavy on these big movements, we're going heavy. So now here we're moving on to the seated leg press. This machine, we're gonna go heavy for four sets. We really wanna shock your central nervous system and really build up your muscle, and not only that, strengthen yourself at the same exact time. So when you're on your last, last and fifth set, I want you to move down to a good moderate weight that is heavy, but at the same time you want to hit 20 reps. You want to get the blood to rush into those muscles and hit any muscle fibers that weren't hit with the other four. So now here we're moving on to a hamstring killer. I supersetted some leg curls with some stiff leg deadlifts. The thing about building big and strong legs, you want to switch things up. You don't want to just stay heavy and you don't want to just stay with high reps for definition. So that's why I incorporated heavy with the leg press, the hack squat, and for definition, I threw this in there. And this is a great way in defining your entire leg the way you want it to. But the thing is, I see a lot of people have that mistake. Do not be one of those people. When you're doing the uh, stiff leg deadlifts, do not ever let your knees lock out because your knee will literally pop inward and you'll be in so much trouble. So keep just a little bend when you go all the way down and you come all the way up on every set. So now we're moving on to the laying leg curl. A lot of people were wondering why am I doing both leg curl machines? I was just sitting and I'm doing laying. I realized my hamstring and my gluteus maximus, I lack that. You know, I don't really have too much muscle because I don't do legs as much. So I'm trying to really strengthen my weak points and make them my strong points. But the difference is while we're doing the laying, we're not going to do them the typical way of just laying all the way down like this. Pull them up a little bit. The fact that I'm 
a little bit higher, me not having to curl my hamstrings and my pretty much my ass muscles are ready tense the entire time. So it's gonna really build more muscle and get the blood rushing to it to expand it. So you ready? Let's get it. So now we're moving on to the lying leg curl. By this time of the workout, my legs are done. But this is what separates the men from the boys. When the second half of the workout, you're fatigued, you're hurt, this is when you get that strength. This is when you get that strive of, nah, I can't quit. Quit is never winning, winning is never quit. And for you to really, really make a difference in your life and not only going with working out, you have to go hard every time. Last but not least, we're moving on to my favorite, the leg extensions. We're gonna build strength and definition. So I'm gonna show you a different tactic. The difference is what we're gonna do. We're gonna focus on two slow reps and then three. We're gonna do 12 reps all together. So two slow, three fast. To build strength, get the blood to rush into the muscle and expand. And also for the slow reps, it's gonna build tension and really thicken out the quads the way you want them to. So you ready? Let's get it. So now we're moving on to leg extensions. There's a new tactic I've been using, which is a slow fast tactic. Two slow, three fast. Um, for me, I've been using it, like I said, for maybe a three weeks now. And I really see a difference in my quads. Got the little teardrop, nice and ripped. The thing is about growing and defining your muscle, you cannot let your muscle adapt to your routine. So the slow fast tactic, it literally has your muscle thinking from rep one all the way to rep 12. Okay, so now we're moving on to our last set. It's actually funny because I run into a lot of people at the gym and they're wondering why I'm doing legs. They rarely see me. They're like, oh yeah, this is, this is not the bicep machine. This is the leg extensions. So that just reminded me, every day is arm day. All right, guys, the ending of my workout. This is all entertainment purposes, you know. A lot of guys in the gym, they're very, you know, stiff and too serious. You can't be like that, man. And this is what I'm trying to bring to the game. I'm trying to show that working out can be fun, you know. And if you know me, you know arm day is literally my favorite day. So I wasn't thinking, hey, I'm doing legs. Can't be me unless I get an arm pump at the same time. And that's exactly what I did. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed my video. My legs are done right now. My hands, my quads, my ass, everything is hurt right now. I'm walking around like a baby deer. People are wondering what's going on, but it's because this is what real leg gains do to you. And that's exactly what I needed. I'm very good in my upper body and I lack legs, so it's time to pick it up and really even myself out. But again, like I told you, a lot of people have been looking at me today and thinking I'm sick while I'm doing legs, but the thing that won't make me, me, Every day's arm day. And that's why I showed you in that last clip, you gotta do some arms on leg day. So hope you enjoyed my video. It's your boy Reggie B. Like my video, subscribe to my video so your boy can be back. And if you do that, I'll be real proud of you. Metamorphosis complete.